Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and this is going to be the 22nd challenge in 30 days of react javascript. So here you can see we have another problem statement which is create a react js component that initiate an api call on each on chain event of an input field dynamically update its content based on the user input. So basically we have to create a react component which make an api call on the user input means on on chain event. So if you are new to my channel make sure that you like and subscribe my channel so that you don't miss the awesome videos. So let's get started. So first of all we will create react arrow functional component export as we always do and now we will modify our html part so we will add some classes we will create one div we will write h1 and inside h1 we will write search after that we will create one input tag input type text id will be search input placeholder we will write type something we will give the class name form control and then input box so now currently our ui looks like something this so challenge 22 and you can see we have a simple search box so we have to implement functionality like whenever we write something so it will make an api call so for that we will modify our logic so for making an api call we will need use state for managing the state also so this is going to be the control component so in the control components we handle the state using react hooks and on chain events so we will write input value final state will be set input value and it will be a blank string now we will update this input box we will write value value will be input value and on fire of on change we will call on function which is handle input change so this will update the final value so let's define this function const handle change it is going to be an async function it accept a e for synthetic events now we will create one variable const value is equal to e dot target dot value now we will update the final state set input value to this value so now we will check make an api call only if the input value is not empty so now we will create one if condition and inside we will write value dot trim and i will write is not equals to blank so if it is not equals to blank then we will write try and catch and inside try and catch we will make an api call we will write const response is equals to await fetch and we have to use an api so for that go to your chrome browser and you can navigate to jsonplaceholder.com so it is basically free fake api for testing and prototyping and scroll down so you will see users so when you hit this api you will get an array of users containing 10 users so you can copy this url and uh, i will paste here now i will write const data is equals to await response dot json we have to convert the response into json so now here comes the main part we will write const filter data so basically we have to filter the data on the user input so we will write data dot filter item we will write item dot name because here in the array data structure we have the name so we will use that name field item dot name dot to lower case includes value dot to lower case okay so this will 
check the value if it is there or not so basically we have to create one another state for mapping the data so for that we will write api data initial and final will be set api data initially it will be null and then we will update the set api data to filter data so by this way we can update the filter data now in the catch we will print the error when the api response fail so we will write error dot message and else we will clear the api if input is empty we will write set api data we will update the final state again to null so that is something so now if i console.log the filter data so you can see here uh, when i open my console so whenever i will write something it will make an api call and you can see i'm getting uh, currently the five array of users when i have written the character sd and after it become empty because we don't have any data with this name so that is something that is how you can make an api call on the user input so now we have to map the data basically so for that we will write api data and and if api data is present then only map the api data item We will give class name column md4 we will pass a key which is a special string attribute we should always include when we are creating array of elements so now we will create one another div uh, format the document now we will give the class name we will write card card wrap margin bottom will be 2 now inside this card we will make one card body inside it we will write card title inside we will write item dot name now we will write card text with the paragraph item dot email so after doing this you will see on refreshing the web page uh, let's suppose uh, I want to search this Lini Graham so I will search for it LEA any -E, and you will see we have this data uh, which is coming from an API after typing this name so you can also see this console uh, we have uh, with this name we have only one data structure which is Lini Graham her phone number is this and username is this and website is so you can use the other data structure also but uh, currently I want only the name so you can use this you can modify this part of code also so this is it this is how you can implement an api call on user input uh, you can also modify this part of code you can add some more css and uh, you can try adding some more features like add a loading spinner whenever the api is in progress so we should see a loading spinner and uh, yeah you can also modify this array data structure you can add some more fields so that is something we have implemented our challenge and uh, this is basically a custom logic which we have implemented try implementing the null checks okay so that it will increase the user enhancement also and user experience also from the user perspective so that is something if you like this video make sure to like and subscribe and if you have any doubt regarding this so let me know in the comment section and till then thank you for watching